Welcome to On The Curbs, I'm your host Team Albus Daily, and joining me this week for a quick fire round of questions is X44's Christina Gutierrez. We caught up a while back just before Extremely went to Greenland. So without any further ado, let's get stuck in. I hope you enjoy our conversation. Hi, Christina. Thanks for being here today. First of all, how are you? Fine. I'm, I'm very good. Uh, finally, I feel OK with the, with the injury, so I'm ready for Greenland. <laughs> best news, best news. I'm looking forward to seeing you back in action as well. So taking yeah, it back yeah. a little bit, what got you into motorsport to begin with? Um, in my family, the tradition of motorsport is incredible. My father is a lover of motorsport, so I start to to ride in a motorbike when I was four years old. So it's incredible how how many years I, ha- I have been doing this this type of uh, things. So then you're saying you've been doing it for a while now. What made you want to join Extreme E? Yeah. I joined, I joined the Extreme E because they make uh, two very important reasons for me, uh, the competition and the environment. So I think uh, right now is one of the most attractive uh, championships in the world. And in my opinion, is totally the future of competition. For sure, definitely. And with the legacy project as well, such an important part of the, of the weekend and everything there, doing a lot of good. I think I was saying to a few of the other drivers there, even if your race weekend doesn't go perfectly, yeah. you still can feel good about it because you've, you've done this as well. Yeah, totally. So you've got Sebastian Loeb as your teammate. How is it having him in, in the same team as you? It's incredible. He's, uh, for me, he's one of the best drivers in, in motorsport. And uh, for me, it's a dream come true. <laughs> Uh, especially see 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 him drive or see him uh, how to to improve each uh, each lap. So for me, it's a honor, uh, and of course, it's a honor uh, to be able to to learn to learn from him. Do you get on all right in when you're on a race weekend? Do you have like like jokes and this kind of thing going on, or are you all like really focused? <laughs> It's a honor, a really honor. <laughs> it's incredible, <laughs> an incredible driver, incredible. So then somehow on top of that, if we more kind of insane a bit, Lewis Hamilton's team boss, what is that like? <laughs> it's strange because when, when someone told me, Lewis Hamilton is the boss of your team, it's, uh, it's uh, incredible, no? Uh, for me, it's... Uh, uh, another dream. So my my teammate is, is Sebastian Loeb, and my boss is Lewis Hamilton. It's an incredible experience, and of course, is uh, an incredible opportunity for me. Does does he get really involved, or is he kind of more laid back in 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 his role? Yeah, at the moment, Luis make a lot of decision uh, in the team, and he has a clear vision of how he wants uh, the best for the team, but. At the moment, he's currently fighting to win his eighth championship. So it isn't possible for him to attend races and to, to be able to stay with us. But normally, he phone every day and he takes a lot of decision with us. So it's nice. It's nice. So you, you're doing a fairly good job on track as a team as well. So I'm sure he's quite happy with the pair of you. <laughs> Thank you so much. So then, what's been the most challenging thing about Extreme E so far? I think the most challenging is uh, how to adapt the, the dif- to the different terrain that we go because uh, the first uh, the first uh, race is was in Senegal uh, in Saudi Arabia, sorry, and then in Senegal, so it's a totally different places, and now Greenland. So for me, is the most the most challenging thing. Uh, because the, the car is the same, but the ground is totally different. So I think it's, this is the, the thing. You've got some, some good experience off-road, though, and you became the second woman to win a Dakar stage in history. What was that feeling like when you achieved that? Yes, this year was uh, an incredible um, 
grow up like a like a driver. So for me, the feeling was incredible. Uh, I found I found that after all the effort for many years, you get uh, results. So for me, it's a good way to to motivate myself uh, for the future and to to improve my my drive and uh, and my my passion of the for the for the motor. So getting getting that win just reinvigorates it more and makes you want to keep keep going and get that extra extra bit out of it. Yeah. So then Jutta Kleinschmidt also won a Dakar stage and is now also competing in Extreme E. It seems you're just surrounded by all these people that you wouldn't have necessarily thought about. What's it like racing alongside her? Yeah, I can you imagine? Uh, for me, she has always uh, been a legend in the motorsport and especially in, in the Rally Dakar. Uh, is the special is the speciality that I drove a lot of uh, years ago, and now seeing her drive with all of us uh, is incredible. And especially compete competing against her is like uh, strange, but uh, at the same time, I learn a lot about uh, how she drive and and a lot of things. And for me, she is a, a great legend. Do you find yourself having to, to pinch yourself to check it's real when, when all this is happening? <laughs> yeah, a lot of names <laughs> around me. So then we've got, uh, we're going to Greenland next and then Sardinia after that. Where would you like to see Extremely visit in the future? Yeah, yeah um, I hope um, we can visit Brazil because uh, of um, sanitary things, it's not possible to, to go there. So I think it's important to uh, go there because the extreme make visible the environmental problems of the deforestation. And I think Brazil is going to, to be a, a, good, a good place to, to show the problem. No? Uh, so I hope the next year I'll come back there. So I hope. Fingers crossed. Hopefully all this comes down a bit and you can get back to yeah. proper, proper stuff. Yeah. yeah. So then a couple of more fun questions just to finish off then. What's your favorite film? Uh, my favorite film, Interstellar, I think. All right, okay, good choice. Good choice. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of me leads neatly into the next question, then I might know the answer to this there. Uh, would you rather visit the International Space Station for a week, or would you rather spend a week in a hotel at the bottom of the ocean? <laughs> I think it's difficult for me because I am a lover of the ocean and and the universe too. So I think it's impossible to choose one. But um, I think if it's possible, go a week uh, in each in each uh, place would be better. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you could get up, go up into the space station. You're coming down. You're going to land in water anyway. Yeah, and go straight down to the next one. After two <laughs> days in the space, never. <laughs> uh. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure chatting with you. Nice, quick chat. That's how I like it. I um, want to wish you the best of luck for the rest of the Extremely season. I'm very glad that you're back to 100% now. Thank you so much for the, for the interview. Thank you. It was great to chat with Christina and I've thoroughly enjoyed watching her in Extreme so far this year. I want to thank her again for coming onto the show and wish her the best of luck for the rest of the Extreme season. Join me again soon when I'll be chatting to another famous face from the world of motorsport. In the meantime, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and check out the other videos on the On The Curbs YouTube channel. Away from YouTube, you can find me over on Drive Tribe and feel free to follow my Instagram at t.elbers.daily.drivetribe. You can also find me over on GP Grandstand TV, where I'm part of their weekly podcast. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you again next week for the next episode.